in this particular design we are uh, utilizing the infinite ground plane uh, what i mean with that is i haven't defined the ground plane and once you submit this particular design to the manufacturer he knows he he need to know what is the board cut out size because he will cut out in a uh, the, the pcb board on which he will fabricate he will cut it out and give it to you right so for that you can do one thing you select uh, uh, this rectangular path and based on the board you want the board dimension you want for example i want to leave out some space here leave out some space here leave out some space here so you should keep it around I mean just have a distance of uh, 5 to 10 mm that should be sufficient but i am not leaving any distance here so we are going to put the sma connector here which will be soldered on this layer so that is why if i keep the board to this particular the ground will be up to this then uh, my solder pin might not reach to this uh, transmission line and we, this we don't want so that is why i am not leaving any space here you may go very close and find to have around 1 mm of gap maybe if you are still curious that your uh, transmission line should not be uh, rubbed out while designing the pcb so you can leave the little space for the tolerance of pcb machine otherwise uh, once you select the space right click modify it and you can use this particular option explode so this way it is just the outline and now if i do the generation again export the same gerber file format same folder view file after the generation export is complete it is now generating the gerber view so you see you have one additional layer which you can inform the manufacturer to use it as a board outline so this way you can transfer the complete information to the manufacturer so this will go as top layer but you inform the manufacturer that this layer can be considered as the board outline and yes you are good to send the files for the fabrications and be ready for the measurements 